hey you guys today is a fun video i'm excited it is a bit of a different one it's a get your craft on kind of video not sure what that was <laughs> i'm making over a nutcracker i know I'll tell you why later. I'm busting out my spray paint. I'm busting out my sewing machine. All my fun embellishments. Mod Podge. Mod Podge. However you say it. Pretty much all of my crafts. All of my hoard. Now, because I'm a bit of a craft hoarder, I like to call it the queen of collecting, <laughs> I have a lot of little fun things that I can use for this project so it's not costing me a penny which is good because we're from Canada and we don't have pennies anymore <laughs> uh, with that though you guys let's just get right into the video Mark is working away today so he will not be in the video it's just me living my best crafting day now you guys go grab your big cup of whatever you're gonna drink get cozy and let's get crafty Okay, little explanation as to why I'm making over a nutcracker. As many of you know, our oldest daughter has moved out on her own and asked if she could come and raid some of our Christmas stuff. I said, absolutely, she can take what she wants. So she took a few of the nutcrackers as well as a few other little things. Now, you guys, I have a massive obsession with nutcrackers. For some reason, I don't know what it is, probably because my background is German. But with that, I also noticed that a few of them were a little worse for wear. So I'm going to give this nutcracker a bit of a spray painting job. I know, shocking. I wanted it as neutral as possible. You guys, all I did was I took it outside and I spray painted the holy heck out of it. So because this nutcracker had a few issues, for instance, his little hand has like a little hook hand. I want to try to put something in there, maybe snow related or I'm not sure yet. I have a bunch of embellishments. I have a bunch of wooden sticks. I have all kinds of things that I could probably make fit in that little area. I haven't decided yet what I, I'm not there yet. You guys, I am going to change its crown. I am just kind of waiting for a few things to dry. I needed to redo its mouth um, because I didn't really want teeth anymore. I'm going to make some clothes for this thing. <laughs> I craft myself up as a beginner sewer, very beginner sewer. I'm still understanding the machine. I'm still trying to get a feel for how you measure it and cut it. My brother and my younger niece <laughs> got me this uh, nutcracker, this bride nutcracker before Mark and I got married. <laughs> Where do you see it? Hold on, let me go grab it. <laughs> how funny is that? He actually put it in my car with a seatbelt on it. <laughs> um, okay, but let's get serious here. So, oh, they didn't incorporate. Okay, so I am not going to include this part. And it looks like it's hot glued right to her. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm essentially going to make a skirt very much like this one, just very basic. I was gonna put a fancy elastic in it around its waist. So this will sit just It'll just be around it. So I'm going to make a skirt first to the start and see what happens. And then I might just paint on a shirt because I feel like none of the female nutcrackers I have, they have tops to their outfits, but it's never, their arms aren't included in that. So I kind of find that better because that would be a lot. <laughs> so let's begin um, again. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I feel like I want to use, I have it right here. I feel like I want to use this material. I'm going to just measure around its waist. So at least I know that part. Um, yeah. And that's, I think where I'm going to start. And please don't look around the house behind me because I have so many Christmas boxes and hanging around. So just focus right here. Focus here. <laughs> oh, and I taped off its hair too. I'm hoping it's not going to all pull off. I don't know what's gonna happen if that happens but anyways I'm gonna try to spray its crown silver I just put a light dusting it used to be like a, a gold but like a, a not a very bright gold so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so because this is so not a tutorial, like I've said before in another sewing video, I am just winging it here. I am just learning. So what I'm doing is I've measured how long I kind of want it. And I have to take into consideration the elastic that I'm going to feed through the top part. So I have just measured the waist and doubled it and then measured the length and added, I think I added an inch 
so I could do the flip over at the top. And I don't think that I'm going to hem the bottom because I have this cute little trim that I want to try, try to sew along the bottom. So it doesn't need a hem. I really hope that makes sense. I'm sure it does, but it does in my head anyways. And that's just what feels good to me right now. So this is what I'm doing. <laughs> So I don't think I'm going to line it. I'm thinking it doesn't really matter if it's see-through. I might kick myself later, but we shall see. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. So I was all proud of myself and I thought, oh, that's nice and uh, pinned properly and let's get this going. And then I realized, uh, I forgot to do little hems on the, I guess the vertical sides. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyways, I'm going to quickly do that, zip that through the machine, and then I can put this dang elastic in. I didn't want to roll over the elastic with the needle. So I wasn't sure how thick to make that little band to feed the elastic through, but it actually worked out perfectly. So I think it was about maybe three quarters of an inch total. And let's be real here, as my mom pointed out, <laughs> it's just a nutcracker. It's not like it's a Barbie where you'd be like changing the clothes all the time. Hmm, this might be my new venture, people. Barbie clothes. I don't know, too fiddly. <laughs> Let's just stick to nutcrackers. <laughs> Can I also add changing this bobbin and the threading the needle? I am like a professional now. <laughs> I had to do this so many times. My first few times that I was sewing, it was just, I don't know. It was annoying, but I really got the hang of it. So luckily that taught me how to figure that part of the machine out. Cause that was where it was kind of holding me up. I had no idea how to do any of that. That never happens on the first try. Well, second, cause I didn't look at the thread. <laughs> This is not gonna be very long here, you guys. I just, this is just one part of the little video. So if you don't have any interest in this part, just hold, bear with me for a couple of seconds for the people that do have the interest or you can just skip ahead, whatever. But it, just, just bear with me because it does all come together. I'm just kind of rambling on because I'm very excited about uh, my newfound mm, hobby. There, let's just say hobby. <laughs> tough time here this is so thin that I have to get the needle to go along here so I'm maybe going to maybe shorten my little stitch a bit I'm gonna try that because I feel like maybe the shorter the stitch it won't go I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about I don't know if it's right oh, I'm nervous okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna try it Set this up like that it's too thick oh no uh oh I really jammed it oh no don't panic, Lisa. Take my foot away from the pedal. I'm not gonna pull it. I'm gonna take this and pull this up first. I keep it on there. Oh my gosh, you guys, what did I do? <laughs> hey, I have an emergency. I'm going to, can I show you something quick? Are you going somewhere? Sure. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere. Okay, hold on here. Yeah. Okay, so I was trying to sew this onto um onto the edge of this little thing for that nutcracker but yeah. see how it's all jammed up underneath the okay, okay. how do i get that out uh, oh, well that's a bit of a hiccup <laughs> so my mama i don't remember where i stopped the video but 
So I just got off the phone with my mom. I showed her the problem. She's a really like great sewer. So I showed her the problem and I think I, this has happened before, but it happened just with the thread. Um, so I kind of troubleshot then and I looked it up and asked her and did all the things. So I kind of know that what's happened is it's gotten jammed down into underneath the plate the metal thing that holds the bobbin in place so I'm gonna have to take that off but I need Mark's hands because you have to use like a little tiny bit from the drill and it's like it's it's only this big and it's so like hard to turn there's no way my hands can do it I think I'm going to spray the crown but before I spray the crown because I need to put some plastic over this whole thing I'm gonna draw swanky eyes with like really pretty eyelashes because I just I don't know I just thought that would look kind of cool so I am going to do that and also make a little pair of lips I'm gonna keep the tape on the hair for now. Um, I've been thinking about her, the hair too, and I don't know, it might look a little crazy, but then I'm like, but maybe it'll look kind of cute if I could maybe like bring back the 90s and put like, I think it's Meg Ryan who had like that hair, that flippy hair, sure, anyways. <laughs> Whew. Um, also too, I'm gonna see if I have any like embellishments, like I don't know yet, but some something to jazz her up a little bit, maybe a little pair of earrings. I don't know. I'll have to see what I have in my stash. Yeah, this is the fun part, the decorating part. <laughs> I ended up finding these little sparkly things, all kinds of them actually, these little gems and this little Christmas tree and these little flowers. They're almost like a paper material. They're really cute. Um, a chopstick, because I figured that can be like the stick. Oh, and this cute little Christmas tree oh, button, which I don't know I'm going to use that yet because I don't love it pink. I have to figure out something for that. Uh, I don't know about that stuff either. So anyways, I have all of, ooh, 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 ooh. And that's the color there of the skirt. You guys saw that earlier, but I got these little stickers and I feel like they will probably be either good on the crown. So this actually covered up quite nicely. Oh, this silver spray paint or any metallic spray paint, I'll say it once, I'll say it a thousand times, is fantastic. It goes on like butter. Don't go heavy handed with it though, cause it like really has a tendency to drip. <laughs> So this little Nutcracker's boots, they were black. Well, of course, I spray painted the whole thing white to kind of give it a prime. So I actually busted out some nail polish. I didn't really know what to paint the shoes with because I kind of wanted them shiny, I guess, boots, shoes, whatever. But I'm changing them into shoes. How cute are these? So and I'm also going to layer it and I'm going to do the two coats of the nail polish because the stuff is, you know, like any nail polish. And then actually put a third coat and I'm going to put sparkles. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm feeling like one of Santa's elves. <laughs> All right, so moving on. I thought that this little skirt should probably be closed at the back. For what reason? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I'm just taking this a little bit too seriously, but I really wanted to make it right. So I just zipped up the back uh, after I figured out how to get that string unclogged. And yeah, so that's all I'm doing here. Just move on because I really want to decorate this skirt. I know a little extra, but it's a nutcracker. It has to be somewhat kind of jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> I made her a little skirt. Ah. Babe, is that ever cute? Thanks. I even put a little elastic waistband. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That's amazing. Thanks. I am going to see if I can iron this. I know it's a bit extra, but there's like some wrinkles in here that would drive me nuts because it's right on the front. So I'm going to give that a quick iron and see if I can jazz it up a little tiny bit because it's cute, but I'm pretty sure she can be cuter. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, let's do that. Um, I I have an idea and I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them enough, but it might be just what it's needed on here. <laughs> I hope it works. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> So 
so here's those little Christmas trees, you guys. They just peel right off the backing. I think I got them at the dollar store. I am just going to stick them around the bottom of the skirt just to kind of make it a little fancier. And I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue on the back just so they stick a little bit better. I'm, I don't know if I trust the glue that's been on these little guys that I've had them for a very long time in my stash. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, you guys, I have figured out the rest of the top part of this little girl. <laughs> um, I am going to just podge on some material. I've cut little strips, kind of the same width because you can't really get underneath her arm very well. So I'm just gonna hope for the best. And this stuff is very forgiving if you've never used it. I've used it a million times. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, very foolproof. So just have at it if you're going to attempt this on your own. Um, the only problem is once it's on and dry, uh, it's not the most fun to take off, but I guess you could probably paint over top of it if you absolutely hated it, but whatever. There's enough working time with this thing that you can just peel it off and reposition it if you had to. Um, yeah, and it's all water washable. So that's the bonus about this stuff. You can just wash out your paintbrush later and yeah, it's actually so much fun. On this stuff. I'm pretty sure that my mom and I are both very highly addicted to this Mod Podge because it just can transform something from kind of just boring like white like this top into something fun and jazzy. I don't know. I just love the stuff. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Now, because this is a nutcracker, the little mouth that opens, I don't necessarily want that showing. So I'm just taking this lace and kind of like weaving it over this needle to kind of make it like a scrunchie so I can have like it very loose. So if I need to adjust it, once I glue it onto her little chinny chin chin, um, it's going to still be able to open if I want it to, which we're not cracking any nuts with this thing. It's purely decorative. I just thought it would cover up that big gaping hole. <laughs> essentially is all that I really wanted it to do. And I'm just going to tuck it at the bottom. So her skirt's going to cover up all of the bottom roughness, I'll call it. So I'm just kind of batching stuff that I need to glue with my glue gun. So let's just put this aside and get on to the next little step that I've done here. While this is drying, I found a chopstick that will actually fit perfectly right in her her little hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to spray paint it as well to match the crown. I'm going to build it first. I got to cut it down. I'll use Mark's hand saw, I think it's called. Give that a quick zip across and then stack it. I have an idea. So I'm going to work on that again while she's drying. I think she's almost done. Um, it should be good. I'm going to mark it off though first. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take you downstairs with me. Oh, I need my glue gun as well. I'll have to get that out and get it heated up. I'm going to go do that. That was easy. Let's go back upstairs. Once I'm done all of this gluing and it's all dry, which it takes seconds, as you guys know, I'm gonna go outside and give it a quick spritz with some silver spray paint to match the hat, like I said. <laughs> Look at how cute that 
that turned out. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna simply glue on these little flowers onto her hat and put her little ruffle on the top of her shirt dress to hide that hole. <laughs> and I'm done, you guys. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Where do you see it? Well, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired some craftiness in you. And I guess we shall see you in the next video. Oh, wait a second. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss one single video that we upload every Saturday. <laughs> okay, you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.